And then he goes on, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Son of the Most High, not a Son of God, but the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. Now to reign over a house of Jacob forever means this is not going to be a Messiah like the Jews were expecting. He'll live, he'll do mighty deeds and he might die. This is kind of a supernatural being. And calling him the Son of the Most High means that um, he's a unique son. The unique Son of the Most High. Since it's a definite article as opposed to the indefinite article. There are many sons of God. We are adopted sons of God if we're Christians. But we're not the Son of God. Not Son of the Most High. Caesars were referred to as sons of God. Caesars. Yes, and Augustus, I think, particularly. Caesar Augustus. Um, yes, so that was timely that he was referred in that way by the pagans at the time that Jesus is born and the angels acclaim the true Son of God. 